Hello friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you're doing great. And in this video, we are going to see how to connect a test Odata servers. So normally once you start learning uh, UEFI with um, BAS or WebIDE, we need some Odata servers to be mapped. So it could be fine to connect with the screen elements and different pages and the navigations we are able to uh, uh, do a little better uh, with Odata servers uh, until if you are not able to find any systems to be connected in your BAS account or you are not getting any metadata document. Okay, So until then uh, you can use this uh, test Odata servers uh, for your uh, learning purpose. Okay, Let's get into the slides. So this is the um, Odata servers which I have used uh, like not one it's, it's a, a popular one uh, many um, examples you might have seen this auditor service that is the one I'm using in this uh, example also and uh, this is a service uh, URL the entire service URL is required while creating a project you have to use this entire URL okay and this is a read only uh, URL means read only auditor service because you're not able to do any uh, change in that obviously because it is going to be a test one so mostly get method will be used for the service okay and then um, once you create the project you getting this um, screen probably the second or third one and that is a data source so far we have used none as an option and now we are going to use another option called connect to an auditor service and what are the auditor service we have seen in the previous slide copy uh, copy and paste it here the full one okay start with https and end with uh, svc slash okay so till that you just pass if any mistakes or anything is missed then automatically you will get a message called uh, invalid or you are I believe so it's something in the red color you get an error message say invalid so once it is done so automatically what happens is in your web app folder one new folder is created automatically called the local service along with the metadata file metadata.xml file okay it's created it and if you double click you are able to see all the metadata it's a very huge file uh, so you can see a lot of uh, entities entity sets and the relevant um, entity type uh, entity field names and everything okay so we can use this service for most of your uh, screen developments okay so okay and after that what happens in, in there is a change in the manifest these are automatically added once you choose the valid auditor service so the data source is already added here with the name main service we have already seen it this is a default service so you don't want to use any name main service as a name wherever you are calling the auditor service right so directly you can use the entity set name as is the field name that will recognize okay so this automatically added the service uri as well as the local uri means where the this uri this file is metadata file is placed is nothing but local services folder and metadata.xml and uh, i have used two different screen elements to receive the input and make sure it's, it's coming properly at least the values are uh, populating it one is just a table for one id called character id is one of the uh, field in one of the entity set it has a lot of entity sets one of the entity set as categories in that the field name is category id i used just for one field to make sure it's data is pulling from the auditor service and the another one is smart table so smart table we have to um, make one more video especially with smart table uh, because that has a lot of options available but now uh, in this example i just use a smart table uh, to display the value from the auditor service so whatever the auditor service you can able to map it to this particular uh, screen element smart table uh, to the particular entity so here the entity is entity set i'm saying entity set is customers so that you have to map it automatically all the values all the fields and everything it just grasp and put it as a uh, smart table output so you don't want to make everything like the previous normal table so you have you don't want to make any labels column fields uh, which column what uh, the field to be a mapped you don't worry really, and you don't worry about those things so smart tables work very smart and recently many projects are using smart table especially they want to display the values in the uh, table format okay 
So here I use customers and here I use category ID. Uh, these are coming from the auditor service which we mapped. So let's get into the system and see how it reflects. So this is the BAS. Uh, I already logged in and, and just come to this place, my workspace. So here I go to new, uh, new project from template. You see, we fairy application start. Okay, third step is the data source. The second one is a template. So basic next. And here I have to use this option connect to an or data service. So then just press tab, then it will um, have O data service URL. This is a mandatory field, okay? So let me copy it from my PPT. So over here, control A, control C, and paste it. So just tap. It will try to connect. Once it is connect with that order service, your next button will enable with blue color. So we are good. So if it is any uh, issues, then it will say it's invalid. Let me try. Okay. So the service. Okay, the service you are provided is not a valid your data service. Okay, so that way you'll get uh, information over there. So it's S E C slash. Okay, then go next and view name. I'll just go with V1. So this is probably um test or data service. Okay, so maybe OD servers and then no configurations, so just click finish. Let's take few seconds or minutes to generate the project. So once the project is generated, it's coming under the projects folder. So then you can we can see uh, what the new folder is added or under the web app. Probably the name is it's generated, probably the name is um, local service, so it's done. So go here and yes, O test O data service. And if you see web and there is a new uh, folder called local service and inside there is a metadata.xml. Just double click. So here you are able to see all the uh, informations like which is the entity type, as category and what is the key field for it and what are the fields inside the entity uh, type and entity set it's, it's it's a huge there's a big um auditor servers uh, it's a huge metadata so i used to go with the finding of set so over here so here you can able to find the entity set it's not normally in auditor servers we, we just create any entity so entity set is the end with set but here it is in this auditor server it's quite different so if it is a category is a set here it is a category is the entity type and entity set as categories and same thing for employee, if you can see, so employee is the entity type and employees is the entity set. Okay, so this is about it. And if you go to the manifest file, you can see the uh, data source. So here the data source, they added with the URI and what is the type is your data and where the metadata is placed. Okay, so we are good enough with these options. Now we, we go to the view and try to add a table okay so here i just um, copy pasted the table um, property over here so table item so here you have to give the entity set name and this is normal text and which field you want to be added here so if you go to this is entity type so i want entity set name copy this go here Slash, you know the format we already have done when previous videos, especially in the web ID and category and category ID, the field name is here. Just copy and paste it. Okay, so let's have this one more for category name. 
because id we not able to understand what exactly uh, the value so we need the names also for better understanding for the uh, for the video so category name that is going to be name okay and let's do the formatter done okay close this and execute it so the no configuration so it's automatically started the debugger attached then I start running all the supporting files here. Then it opens in the new window. Let's see how it's displayed. So, so expecting some values to be uh, populated in the two fields category ID and category name. So here it showed definitely not correct one minute because category ID is integer. That's what I have seen. Yeah, it's integer. Uh, let's go to the view. Okay. My bad, I just simply copy pasted it. Column and this is item. Hope this sort out the issue. Let's see. Okay, still category name, category number one minute, category ID. Items, category ID and category name. What is the issue here? It works now because it's a little little learning process for an ababer to understand how it works. Okay, so somehow we started out, and this is the output. The category ID, category name is getting from the metadata. It has almost very huge data. It's good enough for the our, for our testing. So now we are going to enable a smart table. Let's see. here it is okay i'm going to add a smart table here i have already opened a demo kit a demo kit especially for smart table i was just going to copy and paste it i'm not going to have any filter or i'm not add anything in the controller file so this is just a view and i want to i want to see how the old data is uh, configured with the smart table okay i want to make sure the data is mapped with the smart table so this is the uh, smart table um, in the UEFI demo kit and we have this, they are some parameters, the filter options, but I'm not going to add it in my code. I want just the smart table with the data. So go to the sample and here I want from this, I need some libraries also. Let's see, copy this, paste it. Okay, uh, few are okay, few I believe it's not because few things to be added here. One minute. So I have MVC, smart filter and smart table as well as the app also is required. Just copy it. Paste it. Okay, hopefully this is fine. This works fine. So filter is books and uh, company code is fine. But here I'm going to change the entity set from my metadata. So which one we can go with? I have a lot of customers, employees, orders and products. So let's try with the products. Okay, so I'm not giving any uh, individual name for the smart table. That is the beauty of this. Uh, let's see how it reflects. Okay, so no column is default. Okay, because we didn't uh, extensively use the smart table options. That's fine. Manually, we can select it. Okay, and click go. Yes. So whatever information is available in that particular order service, it's just pulled it 
and uh, display all the informations in the smart table. So this is pretty easy uh, compared to the normal table. So we have a lot more options are available in smart table that we can see probably in the different video. But this video shows that if you want to practice the UI5 um, development uh, perspective and you need a data on it, just go with uh, the uh, trial version of or read only version of Vodita servers and uh, you'll get more data and more entity set. So from here you can just try uh, with uh, navigation between two different uh, screens and if you select the particular area or particular product ID that needs to be added or it will display with some data. So these things we can able to manage with the single auditor service. Okay. So hopefully this might be useful and just play around with these options. And if you have any doubt, please let me know. And thank you so much for your time. See you in the next video. Bye.